Wiring of KNX Devices course, as one of our new series for free KNX videos. In this video, we will explain more information and the wiring of KNX IP router and KNX IP interface. KNX IP interface. A KNX IP interface enables you to connect to and program the KNX bus over IP LAN. It enables the IP interface to communicate between the KNX system and your PC via LAN. It supports direct tunneling connections and most of the KNX IP interfaces also support multiple connections being established at the same time. On the other hand, a KNX IP router that also allows you to connect to and program the KNX bus, can also be used to connect different parts of your KNX system together and communicate with them over the IP. So the IP router offers the same functions as the IP interface and more, as the device routes and filters messages or telegrams like a line coupler would. This is enabled by using an additional multicast connection that can manage the KNX traffic in a similar way a line coupler does. This multicast connection can also be used as a bus interface for programming and connecting external devices as well as third-party systems. KNX IP router and KNX IP interface have two connectors. The primary connector for connecting the LAN cable and the second connector or secondary connector for connecting KNX bus cable. We use both of them for commissioning and connect PC with KNX devices, this will enable us to connect ETS software with all KNX devices in the project. We will use MCB to protect all electric circuits and smart devices. So the rated current of this used MCB should not exceed the, the rated current for KNX power supply and actuator output channels. Also the connected loads should be in range of this MCB. In this video, we will use KNX IP router and its wiring will be the same for KNX IP interface. Now enjoy watching. See you in the next free videos. Porto KNX. We make learning KNX free, simple, easy and attractive.